of the allocations that have been assigned to the Ministry of Justice and the Attorney General's Chambers under the fiscal uh, arrangements for 2011-2012. Uh, Madam Premier indicated uh, the concept of the scope for improvement in the current context of uh, the budget uh, uh, strictures that we have deliberately imposed so that we achieve uh, value for money uh, use the money allocated for uh, each of our uh, respective departments within the Ministry of Justice and still have uh, outcomes that do not compromise uh, the delivery of core services either within the uh, helping to maintain law and order in our country uh, or the delivery of important within justice, important <coughs> services, for example within corrections. Uh, or within the National Drug uh, Control Department or within court services, all connected with uh, delivery of treatment services so that we uh, deliver and transform people who have been uh, entered our corrections uh, department who have had contact with the criminal justice system. And we have a mandate to transform their lives and return them to being productive citizens. And so within uh, the Ministry of Justice budget with a, with a mandate to uphold the Constitution and the legal system of our island, including the provision of legal and quasi-legal services, the Ministry of Justice has some $54 million, uh, $201,000. Under the Ministry of Justice headquarters, some $2,956,000 has been allocated. And under the Attorney General's chambers, some $4,358,000 has been allocated. We all will appreciate that those two uh, departments, uh, the Attorney General's Chambers, I think we're all familiar, that the Attorney General of your country is concerned with the providing provision of legal guidance and legal advice to ministries uh, to keep them uh, within uh, the law. We also are concerned with the uh, crafting of our laws through our parliamentary uh, parliamentary council, and so we write we write the laws within that department. And these are core services, and these are the traditional uh, activities that you will all recall uh, are a part of your attorney general's chambers that have been happening across our history. But uh, with the new administration, the premier realigned uh, new elements into the uh, Ministry of Justice which made sense uh, to link up, for example, the delivery of uh, justice to our courts from the first place where our, our citizens encounter justice, the magistrate's court. That is where everything begins. Uh, that gives way to the Supreme Court, and again, that gives way to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court gives way to the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council. Well, that falls within the Ministry of Justice, too. But often, uh, members of our community uh, come into contact with the courts. Certainly in the criminal context, it may result in their coming therefore into con contact with the corrections where the punishment has been meted out in the courts. And it was felt that we should align uh, the Ministry of Justice uh, in a more efficient way, in a more focused way by placing corrections within our ministry that we've done. And Corrections has an allocation of $27,389,000. And then, may I continue this thesis, Corrections has within it not only the uh, uh, correcting of uh, its, its clients, uh, but also seeking to stop them from returning to Corrections. And so we have programs there to uh, deal with either drug issues, alcohol issues, anger issues, all of these treatment of, uh, models are there. But other departments assist on this uh, exercise. Court services is, 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 concerned with, um, is concerned with this exercise of uh, assessing members of our community, trying to get them on the uh, right path again. Uh, uh, the National Drug Control is concerned with this in, uh, in, in its, as many of you may know, that focus, for example, falls under the National Drug Control. May I mention legal aid, too. The legal aid department falls within the Ministry of Justice. As you can see, that interfaces with the movement from by persons in our community 
through the court system where legal aid is required for uh, uh, funding the, the experience in court. And in keeping with the uh, new context of looking for ways to efficiently get more value for money, we've looked at and are continuing to, f to reshape our legal aid uh, arrangements so that we have uh, the delivery of our mandate, which is to give people their constitutional uh, expectation of having access to legal representation, but to do so in a way that does not uh, result in the legal aid funding continuing to balloon uh, so that we respond to people's fundamental uh, rights and the protection of their fundamental rights by the provision of access to the legal aid uh, funding. Um, and of course, uh, the Department of Prosecutions, in terms of this alignment, it, it, this alignment uh, that I spoke of earlier, that is the department with, that is concerned is is concerned with the delivery of, of uh, criminal justice, the prosecution, and so that comes within the Ministry of Justice. And there's an allocation to the Department of Private Prosecutions of nearly three million uh, dollars, two point nine nine two millions of dollars. There we will have a number of Crown Counsel uh, who have been experiencing good success at bringing uh, criminals to justice who have been making uh, our life and life uh, style in this country uh, uh, hellish with the spike in violent crime. And I want to commend the uh, level of leadership that's provided in the, uh, the Director of Property Prosecution's office. There are young and um, senior counsel there, Bermudians, uh, uh, linked with uh, uh, foreign counsel who are doing a good job at uh, delivering prosecutions in an efficient and effective way. Um, may I just end, as I reach my, I know I've exceeded my two minutes, may I just end by telling you what the most passionate piece of that I have is the transformation part, uh, element. That is the area. It was never in the Attorney General's and Ministry of Justice uh, uh, stable. It's there now. Uh, what we will do is carry out uh, external evaluations of what we have been doing in this area to test to ensure that our transformation vision is delivered for uh, and we, for the dollars that we're spending there and that we're getting value for money. But first we must evaluate it externally and test to see what we are doing uh, is producing the desired outcomes. Uh, happy to take questions when that time comes. Thank you.